Hey guys, in part two of our head turning series, we take a look at how to control the mouth with a smart bone. In part one, we showed you how to control the eyes with a smart dial. Now we will show you how to do something similar with the mouth. All of this will combine to create a more realistic head turn. Now, if you want to check out that eye tutorial, let's say you missed it, you can click on the annotation and watch that tutorial. If you want to jump ahead and check out how we actually do the head turn, you can jump forward to part three again by clicking on that annotation. But if you're here to follow along with the mouth tutorial, let's get started. First, we'll need to make an action, name it M, and click OK. This is because we have an M bone and that's going to control the mouth. Now we are in the mouth or M action and we are on, of course, our character bone layer for all of this. Now we will need to take the rotate bone tool and just rotate this bone to the left. That will set the first extreme positioning for this mouth. Now we can zoom in and we're going to try to click on that mask layer. You can alt right click to do this on PC, control alt click on a Mac, and we just want to make sure we get that mask layer selected. And what we'll do here is we will move the top portion down slightly, and then we can come in with the bottom point of the mouth and move that up. And the reason for this is because of the way the jaw works. We neglected to mention this in a previous tutorial when we were masking a mouth, but thanks to a super dedicated fan who loves our work, he was able to notify us of this so that we can mention it in future tutorials. So with that said, we can now come in and out with this action, and what we can do now is select the mouth details layer, and we can just move that chin line up a bit since we have the mouth closed, and we can do some adjusting with the translate points tool. And we can do a couple other adjustments here as well, depending on what you have going on with facial lines, you may need to do some adjusting. For instance, we have this piece with the nose, we can just bring that down a tad. Now we can come back out here to the main line, our main timeline, just by double clicking on main line, we'll select the bone layer and we'll move the M bone to the left. Now, what's happening here is we need to make sure we use the manipulate bones tool for that and you can see that the mouth is moving up and down pretty seamlessly and it looks pretty good. Now just for a little extra variety we can add another mouth position as well. So we can make a new mouth action for this. We just go to that new action button and we're going to name this one M2 and we can then click OK. And let's just do an O positioning for this one just for some variety. So we'll move the dial to the right, we'll click on that mask layer, we'll select the points here on the corners of the mouth and we will just kind of scale it inward like so. And we can just come in here now and kind of manipulate the points here to create an O shape for the mouth. So we'll just come in like that and then we can just curve it out a little bit with the curvature tool and then we can position it downward like so. So it's kind of in its original position here. And then we may need to move some of the pieces inside the mouth so we can kind of adjust the teeth just a little bit and we can also move the chin line as well like we did last time. Now it's going to kind of go in the opposite direction. We'll taper it up like so. And then for the other piece, we can round that out. But for the other piece, we can also kind of move that up almost as if it's disappearing from the image right now. Just about like that. So now we can go back out to the main line by double clicking on main line. We can take our Manipulate Bones tool. First, make sure we are on the bone layer. We can grab the Manipulate Bones tool. The Rotate Bones tool will not work, so make sure it's Manipulate. And then, as you can see now, Manipulate Bones tool allows us to do it. 
and we have some basic mouth movements here and it looks pretty good. And this is probably similar to the masking mouth tutorial that you have seen from us before. But we're just doing this again to kind of get some details in for the mouth. That way we can do some mouth movements for when we do the head turn. So it might seem a little bit pointless, but it actually adds quite a bit to the animation once you get to that stage, which will be in the next video. But anyway, if you are looking for that next video, you can click on the annotation to follow part three. If you still haven't seen part one, be sure to check that one out as well. We do a lot with the eyes with that one. If you'd like more tutorials in general, please subscribe or visit IncredibleTutorials.com. We are also on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.